All right, so that God of War Ragnarok Valhalla sparring with tear. Let's get into the video. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what this is about. This literally just came out like. Oh my goodness! About like 20 minutes ago. So one of the biggest surprises for Valhalla was who invited Kratos, right? Why yeah. is Kratos there? Yeah. He got this mysterious invitation, and when you get to the top of Valhalla, you discover that it's none other than Tyr. Yes. I can't the invitation let that. Was yours. I would have signed it. But it was important you come here. That first attack reason. was crucial. Right from the beginning, we knew that Tyr was going to be your ultimate test. When you play Ragnarok and you meet Tyr for the first time, you think you're gonna fight this character. You see them standing up, you know, tears is so intimidating. Man, and Kareem then, you know, Abdul Jabbar. Typical Santa Monica fashion, we uh, change expectations and we subvert them. But I think a lot of people kind of play that game. They're like, wow, what, what if Kratos and Tyr sparred it out? And uh, we wanted to dig into that. And okay. really like figuring out how does Tyr fight? What's that relationship? Because they're, they are sparring. It's a very different relationship than we've ever seen Kratos, you know, fight against someone else. Yeah. Um, and Tyr wrong. kind of bringing this. Hey, Tyr's bag is a little different. Oh my visit, goodness. Right? Well, that was one of the things we really wanted to do with Tyr to showcase how he, the history behind him traveling to all these different places, right? So that's why we have these different weapons that he brings out from different uh, locations. Hey, his double intros. sword Every or whatever. I saw the animation oh for the intro where he's pulling out the different weapon and everything. As soon as that started coming online, we were like, we we're getting pretty hype about it. If you notice for folks that have a keen ear, that will hear Those are some hard. Uh, slightly different tunes. Oh my when goodness. each weapon is introduced that is uh, kind of tied to the weapon as well. And, uh, and then his styles of combat change. I think you'll enjoy it, if that's the word. Bro, I can't wait to the, the next game already, bro. Influenced by the region that he's kind of bringing uh, to each part of the fight. Hey, I want, I want, uh, yeah, I want Thor's like mallet. I, I kind of want that. I kind of want that sense in my house. Game. Yeah. And ultimately, it's like two God of Wars going at each other. Exactly. Right? So that's one of the biggest things is that when you think about the whole franchise. Kratos has only, even though it's called God of War, he's only confronted Ares, another God of War. Not yeah. until now has he had an opportunity to, to go and, and, you know, fight it out with another God of War. Yes, a completely different context, right? Whereas with Ares was about a completely different thing, revenge. Ooh. Now this is more about personal growth and challenging himself to master himself, to get him to the next step in his life, which is a super exciting uh, way to reframe this epic battle with another God of War, right? That was just- Oh, hit him with the F5. The hit him with the F5. Every time you beat him, right? And you, you know, you press R3, oh, you kind of go up yes. and you got that moment where the, the punch, oh, you know, yeah. gets caught and then yeah. they get to do the arm um, shake again. That was completely intentional. We wanted to do the reverse of what happened in Ragnarok where, you know, Tyr's helping Kratos up. Now Kratos is the one helping Tyr up. Oh, that's Tyr nice. was definitely, uh, a lot of fun to bring to life and hopefully all of you enjoy fighting them hey and this was free this is a free dlc here's my question though here's my question right precision all right let me do this in here's my question right because if you guys don't know they actually dropped this free ods uh i said i almost said free ods <laughs> they literally dropped this free dlc in December, I believe they announced it. Oh yeah, they announced it at the Game Awards, and um, we all thought like at, at first, right? Everybody thought, oh, you know, this is a new God of War game. You know, already like, you know, like how could they? Like that's that's just quick, right? But it turns out it was a DLC, so everybody was like, oh okay, like that's cool. You know, we're getting a DLC, and then not oh, the, the wait, wait wait then the thing was free. That's blew that blew everybody away. Um, but my question is. Uh, they dropped this DLC last year uh, in December uh, at the Game Awards, and right now it's April, so it's like it's, it's about four months after. And I'm kind of wondering to myself, I'm like, why now? Why did they? Why, why did they drop this specific video now? You know, four months later, because they could easily, you know, drop this um, in January. You know, closer to the DLC drop uh, that was in December, they could have easily dropped this. I guess ladies, they could have dropped this, you know, in February. You know why now? So it kind of got my, it kind of got me, it kind of got me scratching my chin, you know. And and I, you know me, I don't really like to, I don't really like to, um, I don't like to. Well, I kind of do. I'm gonna say I don't kind of, I don't, I don't like theories at all. But you know, I kind of like to make my own theories and stuff like that. Um, because at first I can't lie to you. As soon as I saw God of War like notification, whatever, because I was already about to like record like all different types of videos. You know, we got Houses of Ashes today. Um, we got some more games. I don't really, you know, I don't want to spoil it. You know, today is Saturday, so you guys know a lot of videos are going up. Um, 
I was about to get into those videos and I saw the God of War notification. I said, wait a minute, like, wait, wait, like, wait, 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 what's this? Like, and I'm thinking like it's the, it's the like the, it's like a new game trailer, or whatever. But um, it turns out you know it's just it's just uh, these guys, these these amazing guys right here talking about um about the uh, God of War DLC, bro. Look at this punching, like just in the freeze frame. That, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. But listen. Real quick, so my theory was, I was like, you know what? Like, are they are they gonna are they in the making of a new game? I mean, because we're being honest right now, uh, God of War Ragnarok came out last. No, sorry, not not last year. It came out December of 2022, I think. So it came out about a one year and some change, right? So if it came out, you know, a year and some change, uh, do you think we might get like a new God of War game? I mean, I mean, we, we really don't know because if, if I'm being honest, you know. Uh, God of War Ragnarok was really about, I mean, yes, it was about Kratos, but then they, it was really, it had like, it had big character development for, uh, his son Atreus. So, um, and obviously, you know, Atreus, you know, he, he went with the girl, you know, and, and they, you know, they're doing their own thing. So I think the next God of War game, um, I, I think that I, th I think, well, cause it said that our boy is going to die. It said that Kratos is going to die. Um, and, and I, I think it said that in like one of like the little paintings or whatever it said, it said that our boy's going to die. Um, which, which, which he better not like, I don't like, I don't care like how old he, the guy could be a thousand years. I don't care how old he is. He better not die. Hey, hey, Santa Monica studios. I love y'all. But, if, but if our boy dies, I promise you, I will run a fade with every single employee at the company. I promise you no games ran. I don't care if I lose again. I don't care if I lose against the custodian, the lunch lady, whatever, bro. I'm running my fade with every single worker at, with every single employee, designer, uh, graphic designer, script writer. I don't care who, bro. I run, listen, I run my fade with, 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 with Christopher Judge himself. I don't care. Our boy better not die. I'm not playing, bro. <laughs> I'm not playing. Our boy better not die. I will run a fade with, bro. It could be a, bro. I'll have everybody, listen, listen. Everybody could be lined up, bro, in a, in a line. Bro, I'll be like these against every single one of them, bro, with my hands up, bro. I'm scrapping everybody if our boy died. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, I, I, you know, I don't want to be, listen, listen. I don't want to be the aggressor here, but listen, I'm being honest. If, I, if, if this guy right here dies, I promise you. Whoever, whoever, you know what? I was going to say I was going to fight everybody. Guess what? I'm not going to fight everybody. Whoever made the final call, whoever made like the final, you know, thumbs up, the final approval to let our boy die, I'm running my fate with you. You're getting my hands. Nobody else. You're getting my hands. And guess what? All the employees are going to be forced to watch, bro. Bro, you're getting my, bro, whoever made the final thumbs up to have my boy go bye-bye, guess what? You're going to go bye-bye. I promise you, bro. Hands up immediately, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right well in reality i'm not gonna do that but it's gonna be sad whenever our boy goes man i really don't i really like i hope that like they uh like they try to like you know april fool us i hope like you know they they'd be like oh well you know like we see kratos die and then like you know uh you know we gotta find like, like you know we control a trance and then we gotta like uh find something to bring him back you know we like we gotta throw him inside the lazarus pit or something like that and he comes back like i hope we could just do that but um, other than that, man, I actually cannot wait to the next God of War. I thought we were going to, you know, I thought we was going to new God of War game, you know, to be, I thought, you know, I thought that, but, uh, turns out we're not, man. Um, I'm really excited though. I'm really excited. Um, I don't know what 2025 is going to give us, uh, but I feel like 2025 is going to give us, um, some, some, some really good games, man. Uh, I really want another God of War game already. I know, I know it's recent. We all know God of War games. They, they come through what? What every, what every like four years I think. Oh my god, like, I think so. Like, cause like God of War, let me see. God of War twenty eighteen, God of War twenty twenty two. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like every like three four years. Oh man, I need a God of War game now, bro. I'm like now ASAP now, bro. I don't get. Oh no, yeah, wait. Like it is what it is. We'll wait. You know, we listen. We wait, listen. I'm not complaining about Cinematic Studios. We have to wait for GTA 6 for 10 years, okay? I'm not I'm not going to sit here and complain, okay? We, you know what? It is what it is, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this video? See you guys on the next time out. And...